In this video, we're going to give you a tour of the Luray Caverns and the Shenandoah Valley, which features the great stalactite pipe organ, the world's largest instrument. Not only is this a cool place to visit when near Shenandoah National Park, but it's a great thing to do when it's raining like mad and you feel bad you couldn't hike up that mountain. This is Magellan and Greyhound, and this is part of our Appalachian Mountain Series where we travel from Shenandoah down the Blue Ridge Parkway and explore the Great Smoky Mountains. Located in Luray, Virginia, the Luray Caverns were discovered in 1878 by a group of locals who found a sinkhole with cool air coming out of it. After hours of digging, they were able to fit through and explore this natural wonder with a rope and a candle. The discoverers then purchased the property but kept the knowledge of the caverns a secret until after the sale, which led to a lengthy legal dispute. This ultimately led to the property being returned to the original owner, and it proceeded to change hands several times until 1905, when the present owners purchased it. One interesting thing during that time was that in 1901, the cooler air of the caverns was used for the first ever air-conditioned home in the United States, the La Mer Sanatorium. It burned down and eventually paved the way for the attraction you see today. In 1974, the caverns were designated as a U.S. natural landmark. This is the entrance of the caverns, the discovery room. When you sign up for the tour, you get a self-guided tour brochure. The pamphlet explains each formation or area in the cave, and each formation is matched up to a numbered sign in the cave, though sometimes the signs are a little hard to see in the lighting. Here is the amphitheater. Many of the formations in the Luray Caverns are named after what the original discoverers thought the formations looked like. This area is called the fish market because according to the original discoverers, the cave formations look like fish laid out for sale. And here we arrive at one of the coolest parts of this place, Dream Lake, the largest body of water in the caverns. It appears as though there are stalagmites underwater, when in actuality, this is all a reflection of what's above. This has got to be the stillest water in the world. Pluto's ghost. You will be seeing this three times from three different places. This is the first, where it appears in an area called Pluto's Chasm. Pluto is the Roman god of the underworld. Think Hades in Greek. This is an area called Skeleton Gorge, after old human remains were found. And here is Pluto's ghost again. And this is the Prosperina column. Prosperina was the wife of Pluto, god of the underworld, and she was also known as Persephone in Greek mythology. Titania's Vale is one of the oldest parts of the cavern, geologically speaking, and was named after a character in Shakespeare's Midsummer Night's Dream. This is the giant redwood, which is the largest formation in the caverns and is thought to be 7 million years old.
Saracen's tent is world famous for being a great example of a flowstone drapery formation. These formations occur when water drips down the edge of the rock and deposits calcite along the sloping edge and are seen throughout the Luray Caverns. This is the fallen stalactite, which was determined to have fallen from an earthquake 7,000 years ago. Giant's Hall is the deepest area of Luray Caverns. This really reminded us of the Hall of Giants and Carlsbad Caverns, which we also made a video on on another road trip. This is the double column and is the tallest formation in the caverns. Columns form when stalactites fuse into the stalagmites below them. This is probably one of the best spots in the caverns. It's called the Cathedral and is home to the great stalactite pipe organ. The organ was invented by an engineer and mathematician named Leland Sprinkle and is the largest musical instrument in the world. It can be played with a keyboard and the sounds are produced by rubber tip mallets which gently tap the stalactites placed throughout the cavern to produce tones. As you walk through, you can hear the organ playing. The area also used to be known as the ballroom because dances were held here. Here is the last view of Pluto's ghost from within Pluto's chasm. The Wishing Well is the deepest body of water in the caverns. Every year since 1954, they collect the money for charities, and at the time of our visit, it was over a million dollars. This is the area called Morrison's Hall. The formation called the fried eggs are supposed to be here, but we could not find them to save our lives. Here's a photo though. They were formed when two stalagmites fell during tunnel excavation. According to the tour brochure, people in the olden days rubbed the eggs for good luck, but nowadays we are not allowed to touch the cave formations. This is the veterans plaque placed in 1928, which is dedicated to all the war veterans from Page County, Virginia where Luray is located. Lastly, this is Stebbins Avenue, named after one of the original discoverers, Benton Stebbins.
We hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know your favorite formation or if you know the names of some of the formations we showed but didn't identify, let us know down below in the comments. This is Magellan. And this is Greyhound. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more epic road trips, kayaking, hiking, and other outdoor adventure videos, please subscribe to our channel. We'll see you on the trails or in the water.